All right, so on this video, I'm going to show you how to create a scatter plot uh, when you have your data already put into a Google spreadsheet. So here you can see I've got map scores of students from a previous year. You can see that we have their grade 7, grade 8 map scores. Um, now, obviously, when you copy and paste, you need to make sure that there is um, a corresponding value between the two. You can see these two, like this, for instance, this student, if I drag, if I copied this, it wouldn't work because obviously there's no data point there. So you have to remember to clean up your data so that each one has an, a, an input and an output. All right. So just for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to grab these points right here. All right. So you're going to copy that. Uh, then you're going to go to Desmos. All right. You're going to hit that start a new graph. Right, and then you can just paste in your table. Now, obviously, you could always just go to plus, add a table, right? At which point you would have to hand type every piece of data point in. Totally up to you. I find it easier uh, to be able to copy and paste. Um, so here we have our data. Um, we have to know that the X is their grade seven math map score, and uh, Y is their grade eight map math score. So to create a line of best fit, then um, you're going to add a function, right? Um, and then you're just going to create that line, um, y sub 1, right? And be careful here. You're not going to use an equal sign. You're going to use a tilde, right? So you're going to have to take a look at the keyboard and see if you can find it. Sometimes it's hidden uh, within your own keyboard. If you go to the ABC, you can see it down here. Uh, obviously, in this one, I'm not using... Uh, an iPad for this one because copying and pasting a table is rather difficult using your iPad. So once we got that piece right in statistics wise, we want to put in our y-intercept plus our slope and then uh, what our inputs are. So we can see now what our um, line of best fit looks like. Right? It gives us all our parameters. Right? And if you want, it can even add in a residual plot. So if you want to try to find that residual plot, right, we can turn off those lines and then see if we can zero in on those residual plots. So here's the residual plot then. And we can see, hey, that looks really scattered. I think a linear model is going to be appropriate for our relationship. Um, and then you can screenshot these accordingly and then enter them into your slideshow.